What's up guys, Joseph Rockets here, and in today's vlog, I'm gonna be showing you three ways on how I personally grew my social media. I wanna share these tips and techniques with you guys because I want you guys to be able to grow your social medias too. To get a quick workout in with one of my good mates, we're gonna make our way to the gym right now. Um. Alright, guys, here we are back again in Doherty's gym. Now, this is one of the most important things to do, and that is collab. Collabs help you so much in growing your social media. So, today I'm collabing with one of my good mates from social media, Kwame. He's actually from Adelaide. We've never really met in person properly before. We've seen each other at an expo once, yeah. um, we've said what's up, that's about it. Uh, but this is our first time actually getting a workout in and actually having a decent chat. Um, we're training chest because oh, this yeah. guy is the king of chest. So. <laughs> it's going to be a good session. <laughs> I'm really session. looking forward to it. And, you know, I've seen some of your videos and love the intensity. And it's, it's always fun. You're like, it looks like you're enjoying what you're doing. And I love the pump. So, you know, we're going to mix up stuff together today. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm always looking forward to a good pump. And, you know, I'm looking forward to it as well, session. man. And I've been following this guy for a long time on social media. And we've always been commenting back and forth um, on each other's images. So it's good to finally connect properly. Uh, and that is the power of social media. Media, and that is the power of collaborations. Yeah. Alright, so what we're doing here today is we're going to get some a little bit of heavy, nothing crazy, about six to eight control, and then we're going to drop it, do some time and attention, we're going to mix it up. Um, I'll drop it down to about my body weight, and I'm going to grab as many reps as I can. So this time I'm going for more speed and power, so as many reps as possible, pump as much blood into the muscles. So. Now it's internal tension time, so what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be doing 15 seconds up, and I'm going to get ready to count enough for me, and then we have three normal reps. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And this is the beauty about collabing. It's not only about collabing and growing social media wise, it's also about collabing and learning different tips and learning different techniques um, from whoever you're collabing with. Now I guess he's probably learning some stuff from me, I'm learning some stuff from him. Um, it's just a big knowledge sharing base. And the more you do this, the more knowledge you learn and the more you can apply to your own training. <laughs> So we're gonna do five reps. We're gonna bring the weight down. Have just five seconds rest. But not give our body like enough time to even recover. Get up five again. So we're doing that five times. So five reps, five sets. It's on a super set on the press. And we're gonna switch our angle into a fly. And we're going to be doing pulse reps. For the pulse reps, we've got ten reps. Pause. And stretch it out for about five seconds. And up. two for growing your social media is be consistent. Be consistent with your posts, be consistent with your uploads and use a variety of social media channels. Whether it be YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, Snapchat, use them all and be consistent on, on them all. Um, I'm at an expo right now, I'm at the Arnold Classic, it's been full on. It's been back to back, non-stop. 
because I snuck away for about 10 minutes. I came out of the expo and I sat down here on these set of stairs um, just so I can get some social media posts up. So right now, I'm gonna take 10 minutes, gonna chuck a post up, I'm um, gonna send some tweets, gonna get some Snapchats up as well. And it's that consistent, constant content um, being uploaded onto social media, which has such a big effect in the long run. If people know that you're uploading um, new YouTube videos, you know, three times a week, or you know, two times a week, or every single day, whatever it may be, if you're consistent with doing that, you start to build um, a consistency rhythm. And as long as you continue doing that, people are going to continue seeing you pop up in their news feeds um, or in their streams. And the more people see you pop up, the more engagement you're going to get, um, the more shares, and the more word of mouth um, sharing you're going to also get. So in the long run, after weeks, after months, and after years, it all pays off. So that is tip number two, be consistent with your posts and your uploads. It's now time for my third and final tip on how you can grow your social media. Now that tip is provide your audience with value. Now what that value is, it could be anything. It could be some knowledge, some information, some humor, whatever it is, that is upon you. What I do, I provide my audience with value all the time. I give them free information and free knowledge. Every time I do a post, there's some type of value behind that post. If I post up a picture of one of my meals on Instagram, I'll tell them what I'm eating, why I'm eating this, how much calories are in this, how much protein, carbs, fats, um, and give them the reasons why I am consuming this. If I post up a workout on my YouTube channel, I'll tell them how much sets, how much reps, what exercise I'm performing, the reason I'm performing this exercise, the reason I'm using this tip or this technique when performing this exercise. All of this stuff is free of value. Now because I'm providing my audience with stuff that is valuable, it is useful to them. Therefore, it helps them, they enjoy my content, they continue watching my content, they share my content around, they tag their friends, and they tell their friends about me um, through word of mouth because I provide them with value. Now again, that value doesn't have to be um, knowledge or information. That value could be humor. If you're providing humor, doing funny Instagram skits um, or funny videos for YouTube, that humor, you're providing them with something. Now, if someone finds your videos funny and they like it, they're probably gonna tag their mates in it. The more people get tagged, the more word of mouth the more viral your video is going to go. The more viral your video goes, the more eyeballs are going to see you and the more your social media is going to grow. So that right there is my third and final tip. It is provide value.